meter rechts afslaan. Figures that illustrate the enormous size of the Rotterdam seaport. Every year, close to 300 million tons of goods enter Rotterdam and leave it. Of this amount, 120 million tons consist of crude oil and oil products, followed by dry mass produced goods such as cereals, ore, and coal. 19 million tons in total. General or mixed cargo totals 64 million tons, of which more than two thirds in containers. Annually, Rotterdam receives 32,000 seagoing vessels and some 150,000 inland vessels. In 1878, the Huidige Brug stamped out in 1981 and gave the same name. The first Wilhelmsbrug was 1878. The Huidige Brug was 1878. The Huidige Brug of the same name stamped out from the year 1981. The direction of the Wilhelms, the color rouge. The first Wilhelmsbrug was 151. Cette place est régulièrement utilisée pour des événements. Du parc, vous voyez le parc de Rotterdam, aménagé en 1852 par l'architecte Zocker dans un style paysagiste anglais. Au-dessus du parc de la ville, the Muller Pier to your right houses modern new build apartments, and the Lloyd Pier to your left is where, in days gone by, brick bulk cargo was transhipped and passengers departed for the Orient, Asia, as the pot still which comprises part of the Delfshaven area. Until 1811, Delfshaven was part of Delft. But in 1886, Delfshaven was incorporated into Rotterdam. In stainless steel tanks, weighing 1,000 tons, but store concentrated juice. The imported juice comes from Brazil. They contact with the port's traffic service. This business, founded in 1916, installed, repaired, and serviced ship radios, and trained radio operators for Dutch and foreign ships. Kartengracht. Prior to the Second World War, this area had the biggest Chinese population in Europe. However, today, Chinatown has nigh on disappeared. It was unloaded in this port in 1966. To this day, the ECT city terminal, located alongside this port, still offers every conceivable facility for fast and safe processing of container ships. It takes just two hours for ships to get from the North Sea to the terminal, without being slowed down by locks, bridges, or the tides. Container ships over and above 8,000 tows are handled at the ECT Delta Terminal on the Mars Flakta. In Rotterdam, around 12 million tow are handled every year. Tow stands for 20 feet equivalent unit. That is a container measuring 20 feet in length, which is about 7 meters. De aan deze haven gevestigde ECT City Terminal biedt vandaag de dag nog steeds alle denkbare faciliteiten voor een snelle en veilige afhandeling van containerschepen. De terminal biedt het heutzutage nog immer alle denkbare aanlagen voor de snelle en zichere afwikkeling van containerschepen. Von der Nordsee aus haben diese Schiffe ohne Beeinträchtigung durch Schleusen, Brücken oder Gezeiten binnen zwei Stunden beim ECT City Terminal angelegt. Die Containerschiffe, die größer als 8000 TEU sind, werden beim ECT Delta Terminal auf der Marsflagte. In 1966, der erste Container hat in diesem Port Le Der ECT City Terminal, etabliert in diesem Port, offert immer noch alle möglichen Möglichkeiten, the bar is now open, where we have an extensive selection of hot and cold drinks on offer. Gern weisen wir Sie darauf hin, dass unsere Bar geöffnet ist, wo wir Ihnen gern vielerlei kalte und warme Getränke servieren. The arrival of the SS Rotterdam in 2008 kickstarted an urban regeneration project for Kartendracht, and nowadays it's a sought-after residential and recreational area.